Hello and welcome to French Property Renovations and you find me today on the last bit of the installation for my electric shower. So that'll be my first indoor shower for a long time in my own house. And today I'm going to talk about soldering joints and copper joints because it's the last bit to do. And in plumbing it's probably one of the hardest things to fully grasp. This is what we call an end feed copper elbow and they're the cheapest generally that you can buy. These are uh, Yorkshire fittings, what they call them in England and these basically have a, a little ring here and they are soldered and there's a bit of solder in there and that's a T, it's a funny odd shape because I, I don't know where I've got that from but I've had it a long time. Now this pipe that's in the old house and existing the green that's on the pipe is what they call patina and all copper in the presence of moisture will go green uh, green roofs on houses generally copper and at first it's nice and shiny then it goes all dull so to solder here I need to put a connection in here uh, to go up through the floor and then it goes across what's going to be my future bedroom and it basically feeds the shower so I need to put a connector in here. Now originally I was thinking of putting this T in and keeping this old tap. Well, I've never used the old tap so I've decided I'm going to change the T for an elbow. So originally there was a socket here so I've just chopped it out with my junior hacksaw and I've heated it up and removed the old socket. So if you look a bit closer you'll see that this is a little bit silver maybe and this is copper. Can you see that? And basically you've got to get the copper nice and shiny so when you do the joint uh, the solder will let it stick to the copper. So you can use wire wool, you can use a file but you've got to make sure it's nice and clean. When I was an apprentice and we first started we didn't have self-cleaning flux but nowadays you get this really good self-cleaning flux and it will clean the pipes to a degree but you can't help but have nice clean pipes for soldering so this elbow is to go on here but because it's already been tinned by the original socket that was on it you might find it's a bit tight so a little tip and a hint to get the elbows on is to put a, a little piece of pipe in and use the pipe for leverage so what I'm going to do now I'm going to get a bit of solder which we've got in my little tub and what I do is I put it on the end of my, my solder, like so. And the easiest thing to do is to use that solder to, to put the flux inside the elbow. And then it's on the, the surface ready. So as you heat it up, that will melt and clean it. We all, you have to be ambidextrous because you have to have 50 million things in your hands at once. And again, you put that onto the pipe. Now what I tend to do here is roughly that's the depth of a socket or an elbow or a T and you can do that and you'll actually see it cleaning because it's acidic as you're putting it on and then this one will be easier because there's no soldering already on it and these have already been filed like so to make them tapered so they go into the fittings easier but you've got to make sure there's no debris and burrs left over from the filing because you don't want that to end up in your shower or your plumbing system. So again, we'll put a bit of flux on here and I'll put that onto the existing pipework. Now I like to put a little bit more on than the depth of the fitting because then you can, you can see it when you're soldering. And that's that. So now, because this is, will be a little bit harder, we can put it on, twist it with the additional bit of pipe and then you generally you'll see it go full socket and if you pull them out like so you can generally see it's gone in full because you've got an extra amount of flux there so this one's going to go like so and it's going to go straight through a hole above and it should fit in nicely like that i then have these mad french fittings so this is two fittings it separates so you can't buy one you've got to buy two so this is the copper bit to uh, what we call male iron and this is female iron with a little washer inside that could leak because everything in France tends to leak. 
and that's going to go on the top of that and then we'll go to 16 mil plastic but we're here to do some soldering so my gas ball it's a good make i'll cover it up so we have no advertising no promotions on my videos but this is map what we call map gas map gas is very very hot it's hotter than normal map. gas for soldering I think Trev wants to be in the video. Trev, come on if you want to be in. But this gets very hot, so you have to make sure that you don't boil the solder. The idea now is to melt the solder that's on the residues that was on the oil. Trev, come on. Now I'm going to melt this into the fitting, but I don't want to boil it because if you boil it, as in cooking, you get bubbles and air pockets coming out. They tend to leak. And that's a disaster. You don't want that to happen. So when you turn the gas bottle off, like so, you can flick the switch and it will stay on. But you can adjust the flame. So we don't need it roaring. You just need a nice flame to get it hot enough for this to melt. Obviously, to get copper to melt, you have to have very high temperatures, higher than we've got here. Well, this is also good for uh, heating nuts and bolts up and getting them off old cars and things like that. So basically, we've got to angle the flame so as the melting flux doesn't end up in the nozzle. So if we do it on the angle like that, from underneath, you'll find that the heat rises to the top of the elbow, because obviously heat rises, and we've got a nice angle, and the flame is touching the top part of the elbow there, so that will be heating up at the same time. And we've just got to watch and basically we're looking for that little bit of time there you go and it's melting there and hopefully you can see now if you do it too much the fitting will all go black and be burning and we've got a little one there and a little one there and what we can do now we can take a bit of the flux and cool it down with the flux and that there also cleans it at the same time and not only is it cleaning it, but it'll help it just run that last little bit as it cools down. And you might see there, whilst it's doing that, that it cleans, cleans up. You can hear it bubbling, but that should give us a nice clean joint. And if I get a little bit of water, we can cool it right down. Now you don't want to cool it down too fast because if you do it too fast it'll crack the joint. So if you start the cooling process higher up the pipe and work your way down, it should be uh, good and not crack the solder joint. Because although they're very strong they can also be very delicate. But if you want to have a closer look at that, let's move that cable out of the way. That is a nicely soldered joint that should not leak. And I'll uh, state my reputation on that. Anyway, if you're liking these little hints and tips on uh, plumbing, please subscribe to my channel. And now I'm going to carry on, put this adapter on, and uh, get some plastic pipe through the hole. And I'll have a shower tonight in my own house. So, as the French would say, voila. Thank you for watching.